Who's there? Redditor Sal26 Serrano says remodeling was being done in this vacant apartment complex of four, and the owner of the property was downstairs with him at the time. So who is making this noise? Did you hear it? There's definitely someone there, but whether they're supposed to be there or not is the next question. My guess would be this place has squatters. If you thought gargoyles were only a thing of gothic cathedrals, like Notre Dame, think again. Published by Mr. Illusion in March of 2022, this scary video purports to capture a real-life flying gargoyle. I couldn't find the origins of this mysterious video, but the footage shows chaos ensuing amongst a group of people as a monstrous creature appears in the sky overhead. The flying creature is enormous, with large, bat-like wings, a long tail, and what looks like a human head. As it flaps its wings, traveling across the sky, the people below panic. It is captured briefly one more time flying away. Is this CGI, a real-life gargoyle, or some other demon in flight? Whatever it is, I wish it would turn back to stone. According to this paranormal investigator, a genie cursed him in his own voice. Let's enter this haunted home. While speaking to the spirits of the place, he hears an EVP. Buradaki varlık kendini belli etsin. Bir işaret versin. Buradaki yaşayan insanları kaçıran varlık kendini belli etsin. When he walks into the kitchen, something disturbing happens. And then the spirit gets aggressive, but nothing is inside the room. When he enters the bedroom, he sees it. But as he gets closer and closer, Is this a magic trick? Well, it could be the genie himself performing a practical joke. I could also see how this could be faked. But then again, the knocking. Only a genie could disappear like this. But then again, she somehow gets outside the vehicle and is on the ground again, screeching. <laughs> The group seems to have given up at this point as they all back away, leaving the woman to lie on the floor. What is going on in this video? Is it a possession, a ghost, or something else altogether? One thing's clear, this poor woman needs help, and these security guards aren't paid enough to deal with this. Did you ever think maybe your child or younger sibling is possessed? This video was posted to Reddit with the title. No idea if this was the monitor or the kid is possessed. The video shows the demon baby standing at his crib, his eyes glowing red, a common occurrence in baby monitors, but it's the way he starts moving around that has the Redditor wondering if it's possession.
The baby starts swaying back and forth rapidly before he holds very still and then turns his head all the way around unexpectedly. He then rests his head on the crib edge before sinking back down, hanging there, simply staring at the monitor. Other Redditors attempted to explain the possession. Jackal449 suggests footage lag from motion. Otherwise, most arrive at a general consensus that this is normal baby behavior. What do you think, normal or not? Whether normal or abnormal, seeing this in your baby monitor would be sure to creep you out, maybe even enough to make you scream. Apparently, ghosts like peering out of windows because here's another creepy phantom showing up when you least expect him. This YouTuber captured this ghostly white figure staring out of the upper window of a nearby brick building. She posted the footage to YouTube in June of 2010, explaining that she took the video on her cell phone while playing on the green. She writes, We saw a face in the window of a locked room. Kieran, the manager, took us up to look afterwards, but there was nobody there and the room is out of use. Couldn't sleep after I took this. As mentioned, Demi was taking the video of some guys playing catch on the lawn when one of them spotted the figure in the upper window, alerting Demi to the terrifying watcher. She zooms in on the window to catch the pale face of a young boy in the lower left corner. The figure slowly moves out of view. The remainder of the video shows the group climbing the stairs to see who is watching them from the upper room. When they arrive there, it's empty and looks as though it has been for years. There's graffiti on the walls and it appears no one lives there. Many in the comments call the video unsettling, noting that's not how a person moves. Ghost or not, I wouldn't want to run into this boy anywhere, let alone in this room. A YouTuber named G, the one and only, starts off this video immediately looking creeped out and a little bit panicked about something, but we are not yet let in on whatever his current situation is. Presumably a friend of his starts to film him as he proceeds to walk into a room which is absolutely filled with bionicle toys, which is surely any young kid's dream, but maybe this set of bionicle toys are not meant to be played with. There's nothing up here. They are claiming that a bionicle's head moves on its own. Let's slow this footage down and see if we can see it. See, it's the tallest bionicle figure. Oh, I, I see it now. I think it's this one right up here. Although it only happens for just a brief second, if you slow down the footage and zoom in, you can see that the tallest bionicle figure standing up actually appears to move its head slightly all by itself. Of course, it is entirely possible that this particular figure is battery powered and has a built-in feature which allows for its head to move around, but that seems like reaching for answers. Plus the uploader who owns the toy is creeped out by this, so it can't be battery powered. He says that he doesn't believe in ghosts, but is having a hard time dismissing this clip. Let this video be a warning that not even your own childhood toys are safe from being taken over by the spirit of ghosts. YouTuber Jossie Sandhu Official captured what he believes is a real witch on camera. First, he hears her crying. Then he sees her. What? What? Then she lets out this wail that would drive anyone away. What you got? What? 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 Is this truly a witch? I think so. I've never heard something so otherworldly in my life. If you have any doubt about the existence of poltergeists, this pair of videos will help put them to rest. The first was published by Tommy Wells in June of 2011. Filmed in Mount Pleasant, Tennessee, it turns out this poltergeist is not so pleasant. The first clip shows little Christina's birthday party. After singing happy birthday, blowing out the candles and starting to cut the cake, suddenly the faucet turns on full blast by itself. 
you like the boss egg on Seth you got for your birthday? Oh my god, Tommy, it's gonna start again. The family is afraid that it is going to start again and mess things up for everybody, but they're not sure exactly how it's going to happen. One of the adults shut off the faucet as another corralled the kids toward another room. Then things do start again. Pots and pans are projectiled from an upper cupboard, while the drawers open and close aggressively. One comes completely off its hinges and falls on the floor. As if that weren't enough to convince you, in a second clip posted in November of 2013 by Bill Gursky, the owner says that things keep moving around the house. As he's talking about eating a pomegranate, the bowl he sets out on the counter has moved. He continues stepping away from the counter and over his shoulder, the bowl falls completely off the counter and onto the floor. I'm kind of losing it here. I'm Holy sh Security cameras around his home also show doors opening and closing on their own, a cushion falling off a piano bench, sheet music flying off the piano stand, sheet by sheet, and again the closet door opening and closing. Now, do you believe? A YouTuber named Joseph Chan Sloan has been experiencing paranormal happenings around his house for quite some time now. Most of the activity happens around his bedroom, though no part of the house seems off limits. After giving a brief tour of his house, Joseph turns out most of the lights and goes to bed with the camera running. He wants to catch the ghost in action. It isn't long before everything he was afraid of starts to happen. Joseph wakes up and grabs the camera. He races around the house trying to find an intruder, but comes up with nothing. Let me know if you think this is real, and if not, how he did this all by himself. The passed on must be transported to their final resting place, and whether you realize it or not, sometimes you're traveling with them. Shared on Twitter by Mr. Creepy Posta, this scary video showing an apparent lifeless body in the cargo hold on a plane was originally posted on Reddit. The question is, why is this body not contained within a casket? Many in the comments are freaked out by this footage. Some refer to the 2008 Thai horror film Forbia, a film about the transportation of a princess's lifeless body by plane. This short clip, however, was not taken from the movie, and it's not clear if it's genuine or staged. I think it's real. What do you think? A YouTube channel called Jaeger Expective is partying at a rental home. They soon suspect it's haunted after running some experiments. According to them, these motion-activated lights don't turn on unless someone is in the room, yet the lights come on here when the room is empty. Isn't that censored? I think the lights might turn on whenever the door opens though, because when you watch it again, that's pretty much exactly what happens. So they could be wrong about the lights, but next they hear a faint sound from far away. It sounds like one of those really old fashioned phones that used to have an actual bell on top. Uh, everybody has their phones, right? <laughs> Everyone decides to talk about it again in the morning, and they go to bed, or at least they try. Strange sounds continue throughout the night, Stuff that's hard to catch on camera, like a single footstep and nothing else.
in the morning. They all still have a bad feeling and feel what they describe as a chilly vibe permeating every room. Jaeger does a quick recording of every room in the house and picks up this figure, which I think could just be his reflection in a mirror, or maybe not. If you ever crept through cemeteries looking for ghosts, then you might regret finding them. This video was posted in March of 2012 saying, been taking video of local cemeteries for a while and examining them from frame to frame. Found the image of what looks like the ghost of a young boy from around the early 1900s by the way he is dressed. The video was filmed in Kinder Cemetery and as the sign reads, the cemetery was established in 1902, so plenty of time for ghosts to lay down their claim. As the camera pans the cemetery, you can see a short-lived flash of light near a grave. Can you spot it? While some in the comments of this video doubt that it was anything more than a flash, others like YouTuber Dang Cho claim to see hair sticking out of the red circle. YouTuber Yvette Sanchez notes that it is an apparition. Of course, the ghost is not going to be easy to spot, but if you look hard enough, you can see something is there. Well, you can certainly see a flash. It's a bit of a stretch to say the ghost is of a young boy from the early 1900s in my opinion. You can't really make out anything more than the light. But what is that glow? Is it the young spirit shining? Or is it just a trick of the light? These videos were taken at the annual Global Citizen Music Festival of 2018 in New York City. Everyone is enjoying the late night concert until a crowd of people suddenly start trying to escape and basically cause a stampede. Nobody knows what they are running from, and they won't find out until much later, but everybody is moving fast and afraid for their lives. Their voices are filled with panic and raw fear fuels their every step as they grab their friends and try to get out as fast as they can. What the f just happened? I have no idea what's happening. The situation becomes all too real when a head officer of the NYPD comes on stage and makes a brief and serious sounding announcement. Try to move backwards is all the police will say without any further explanation, which sends everyone into even more of an uproar. Those who make it out find the entrance is swarming with emergency vehicles, but still nobody knows why. As it turns out, the source of the commotion was a large steel barricade that fell over and made a loud banging noise. The bang carried throughout the venue and sounded like someone discharging a firearm which caused a panic. I can only imagine how stressful this must have been for everybody, especially when none of them know what is wrong at the time. Fortunately, a strong police presence was able to keep the evacuation orderly and help stop people from trampling over each other. A TikToker named Jordan Dreyer rides down a rainy road when he and his friends see a lone woman crossing the road. Upon seeing them, she stops and turns their way. Oh my god. Oh my god. What the fuck? Her white robes fluttering in the wind and considers them as they pass. Her face is gray and ashen, as pale as her clothing, which I guess could be makeup. I guess if this video isn't real, but as they pass, when the video plays frame by frame, one of her eyes seems to glow unnaturally, possibly marking the exact moment when a curse passes between them and possibly onto anyone who watches this video, including you. I will say that this could be scripted. There are no other cars on the road, but they are traveling at a slow speed, almost as if they knew she was there. But like I said, the weather wasn't good that night, so maybe he's being a safe driver. Another possibility is that something bad had just happened to a real person and she needed their help, in which case whatever she was trying to get away from could have very well caught up with her again after they drove away. A YouTuber named Muzamil Khan records his neighbor having an argument one floor up. Muzamil knows that there is only one person in the apartment, but somehow at least two voices are coming out of the same man. I didn't really hear what he was talking about until this part in particular. Listen to this and tell me if you hear multiple voices panting, breathing, and speaking at the same time.
Muzamil keeps recording until his roommate wakes up and shuts the door. Later, he says the police eventually took his neighbor into custody, who by that time had removed his clothes and was acting even more possessed. It's hard to tell from this video whether this man was actually possessed or just under the influence of something which still doesn't fully explain how numerous voices could come out of one person at the same time. A paranormal investigator named Ankur Kashyap knows of a spooky house nearby that's as haunted as it is abandoned, or so the local legends say. He and his friends wait until after dark to explore the house to avoid getting caught and to increase their odds of getting a real ghost sighting on camera. They sneak over the gate and are too busy filming an introduction to notice their first paranormal encounter of the night in the form of a yellow ghost orb. Translate this part if you can because I feel like whatever he says is what gets the attention of the spirit world. So, I'm here in the colony of my friends and I'm here in a haunted house. This is my haunted house. And look, Ankur even subconsciously leans away seconds before the orb touches him, almost like some part of him senses an unwanted presence is near. Meanwhile, a pair of oversized eyes of something, possibly a ghost in the window, appear at 2 minutes and 51 seconds as they head through a basement entrance. Down this creepy, narrow hallway is a hidden room that seems out of place and has no reason to be here. Something about the discovery freaks them out and they decide not to see what other secret rooms this small space holds. Instead, they go straight to the center of the house and perform some kind of ghost summoning ceremony with candles. Towards the end of the ritual, they sense a spirit slip into the room with them and a mysterious shadow moves over them, or perhaps even through them, while at the same time the camera refuses to go back into focus. It's creepy, but I don't know why the camera person doesn't look over to get the ghost on camera. He misses the moment, so it's not exactly the best paranormal evidence ever, but the random moving shadow is pretty bizarre. And there's still one more odd encounter left. The group is soon surprised to find that the door refuses to budge, even though it's clearly unlocked. So either they are faking this movement, or else the haunted house is seriously refusing to let them leave. Just when the ghost hunters are getting anxiety and really starting to panic. <laughs> A ghost slams a door in the distance, something has left the building, and the place feels abandoned once more, at least for the time being. Their door is no longer locked and so the perplexed paranormal explorers take the hint and quietly let themselves out. They could have been pretending that the door was locked, however the ghost orb, the moving shadow, and the ghost slamming a door is all evidence of the paranormal in my opinion. This solo ghost hunt turned up some mysterious proofs, published by Make Ya Right in February of 2022. The Ghost Hunter scary video has the trifecta, mist orbs, and voices. While walking along a dirt path at night in the forest, a strange mist moves in. It's the unusual shape and movement of the mist that makes it so eerie, like a spirit is swooping in. A round orb seems to be flying below it in tandem. The YouTuber says he didn't see it at the time he was filming. I didn't see that at the time on the camera at all. But it does go by fast. Uh... A second video filmed on the same night appears to have captured a disembodied voice. The voice murmurs, and this time the YouTuber hears it in the moment. I have to look that back on the camera. The f is it? It does not sound like his voice, so whose is it? What do you make of this pair of videos? Looks like a successful ghost hunt requiring further investigation. A paranormal investigator named Paravent posted this video of their daughter, who they think may have attracted a spirit of her own. She raises the camera to show nobody is in there, and the corner is indeed empty. But when she thinks it's over, the spirit lets her get through just a little more of the song, and then moves the chair again. Get 
The chair isn't fully visible, so it could be staged because anybody could have moved it at the bottom, but when I first saw this, I thought it kind of looked like someone was pulling up a chair to hear her play, and that was before I read the many different comments saying the same thing. So is this fake, or really someone watching from the other side? There's nowhere to escape when you're on a haunted island. The Hype Mike crew soon realizes that not only can't they escape, but something is in the house with them. They discover the front door open. Like I feel like we would have closed that. No? At least the wooden door too, you know. Then they see something truly terrifying outside. What was that? The guys described the creature. There's something outside, dude. There's like a what? thing. What it had like talk? its face was all like. I couldn't. I could. Something was on his face. I don't know if it was like a mask or something, but yeah, something, something was on his face, face, and he had like a up. like a. Outside, they hear a call in the wilderness. I think I heard something up there. And as they continue on, they get closer to it. Shh! Oh, what was that? A oh, how? We're definitely getting closer. Like really close. And they get even closer. Oh my! I thought it was another one of those skull things. I think we should try to like find its like base camp. That Until they find its base camp. It's another one of those skulls. Oh. Hello? Is this creature watching them? It seems to have left some sort of warning on the ground. What is that? Is that, is that a plane? Stop, 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 stop. What the f And amongst the brambles of the creature's base camp, they find this. Jesse? What? Is that a Look at this. We need to get out of here. Arriving at the water's edge, they see this. Bro, we gotta go. We gotta. I think he's right. They've gotta go. Wouldn't you? I sure would. After experiencing a slew of paranormal activity at the Randolph County Asylum in Winchester, Indiana, Billy Gerber, a custodian, began recording every shift. One day he is sweeping the basement when this noise fills the room. Do you believe him after watching this? Also, check out how a shadow passes directly over him as soon as the voice says, Help me. It's there for a split second, then gone. An Australian deep sea fisher named Cavi brings aboard a sea creature he's never seen before. An unknown fish with a face too bizarre to put into words. It's bugging out as much as they are, eyes and tongue ready to burst. It's probably puffing up to scare them, and doesn't look like this all the time. Or at least I hope not. Nobody has been able to figure this one out, so maybe you can explain to them what kind of fish this is. There's a scary cemetery in this Egyptian neighborhood that is said to be haunted only on the quietest of nights. 
Mustafa Nabil goes exploring the haunted place at an early hour with his friends. In front of the cemetery gate stands a tall and silent figure guarding the outside. They immediately cut the paranormal exploration short and just want to go home, but the mysterious figure is not going to let them off that easily. It seems like they are blocked at every turn. Something looks at them from around the corner and sends them running down random streets to get away. They are out of breath and about to slow down to regroup when they see the spirit has somehow teleported ahead of them and brought back up. They have to keep moving and stay out of sight. There are many winding alleyways to go through, but they feel constantly watched and far from safe as they are relentlessly followed down every path. At 8 minutes and 24 seconds, they think they are safe and finally slow down. None of them see a supernatural figure watching them from the shadows. The video ends, but it seems their paranormal plight is far from over. A piece of the graveyard has committed itself to following them home. Polar19 posted this video of her beagle in 2008. She wrote, This is my 6th month old beagle, Lewis who started barking and growling at something in the kitchen, mostly focusing on the open cupboard. He has been known to wake up in the middle of the night, barking and growling at something unseen. The YouTuber says that Louise won't calm down until she lets the dog patrol the house. In the video, the dog is barking towards the pantry. He walks further into the kitchen and starts howling. Backing up again, he howls and growls at the pantry. He walks forward again, still howling, and sniffing the ground. He just keeps at it, backing up, walking forward, barking, growling, and howling until the video ends. YouTube commenters note that the dog's hair is standing on end, and the guttural sounds the dog is making are usually a warning. What could he possibly seen in the darkened pantry that we don't? Whatever it is must be well hidden, as you can hear something growl back at the dog at 45 seconds into the video. So there must be something there. A YouTube channel called Kiwi in Japan has the creepy encounter of a lifetime that leaves everyone screaming with fear and excitement in the kitchen. Oh, that is freaky. That is so scary. Oh, yuck. With a bowl in one hand and a piece of paper in the other, he hatches a plan to cover the spider and slip the paper underneath to contain it. It doesn't end well. At 1 minute and 14 seconds, the spider literally jumps out of the way and almost lands on his arm. He's wearing no gloves and a short sleeve shirt when it happens, meaning he's completely vulnerable. Fortunately, it's more interested in finding shelter than battling back. It's fast enough to evade him three more times, but with legs that long, I guess I shouldn't be surprised. After a final showdown in the closet, he apprehends the arachnid and sends it back on its way to nature with a final toss. I bet they're really glad to have gotten rid of it. I don't think I could still live someplace where I saw a spider take up a whole entire room of a corner before. At least not until it was taken out of the house, and I'm definitely not sure if I would have been brave enough to try and capture it. Talk about scary stuff. ILMN Bono Paranormal goes exploring an abandoned factory that has become a haunted place full of many ghost sightings ever since an accident cost several workers their lives 60 years ago. Soon they discover firsthand exactly how paranormal this place truly is. Twelve days later, he returns for more. The big hole is there and no, no, no way. Some uh... no. Wait. 
He says he's done, but he doesn't mean it. Everyone keeps begging for him to go back, and so six days later, he returns for his final paranormal exploration at the haunted abandoned factory. You heard it. There is something. When you go back and look again, it does look like a shadow figure is caught on tape. Oh my god! Did you see that? Of course it's not here anymore. I don't know if you saw that, but it was standing right here. Standing just around the corner is a patch of darkness that is brighter than the rest. Was it a ghost sighting or somebody standing around the corner? Based on the other paranormal activity he's caught on camera, I think we all know the answer to this real ghost sighting. It's the Monbury Rings in Dorchester, UK have a terrible history. YouTube team CVS Paranormal investigates this haunted place, and what they hear is disturbing. We're not here to hurt you. We just want to communicate with you. You could do something. To me, it sounded like a mix of voices and pigs grunting in the darkness. Shortly after, they hear footsteps in the grass nearby. Then this creepy moan is heard. If you are walking, did you hear that? As one of the team feels something touch your head, children's laughter is heard in the background. It felt like something just touched my hair, my head. They hear a rustling in the trees that they don't believe is the wind. Like come from over there just now. In the trees. Are you over by the trees? Can you hear it? It does look like there's a breeze though, and it could just be an animal settling, but this next noise does not sound natural. What was that? I don't know. And then again, they hear footsteps. I, yeah. Is something stalking them in the darkness? The humming they hear suggests so. Oh, it's really going now. While I don't hear the humming sound in the end myself, I can hear all of the other unsettling noises in this clip. To me, the most disturbing part was the pig grunting and voices heard in the very beginning. We're not here to hurt you. We just want to communicate with you. You could do something. What do you think? A man in South Dakota questions whether this spooky CCTV video is genuine paranormal activity or something else. It looks like it absolutely has to be the wind at first except for three things. 1. The window's closed. 2. The blue curtain doesn't move at all whatsoever, which it should be doing if this really was the wind. 3. At 18 seconds it looks like a ghostly handprint is pushing against the curtain when zoomed in. There is a large space at the bottom that is blocked from view and unaccounted for. Somebody could be laying down there and hit the curtain with their hand, in which case this strange video has just been successfully debunked. But I guess we'll never know if that was the case or not. What's beneath your floorboards? This clip was originally posted by TikTok user Unfortunate Existence. The TikToker was replacing her carpets in her home when she came across a secret trap door. Captioned, when you pull the carpet off your floor and find a basement you never knew about. The footage reveals that the secret door led into a secret cellar. Admittedly, the creepiest thing about discovering a hidden room in your home is the question of why that room was kept hidden, but we'll get to that only after we've explored it. The basement is equipped with a set of wooden stairs, so it looks as though its location was known by the past tenant or owner and the basement was used. The TikToker captures her first descent into the secret room on video. There's nothing much in the room but a bucket in one corner, a garbage bag that appears to be empty under the stairs, 
an old chair and desk behind the stairs, and a disassembled bed frame. There's also a large red liquid splatter on one side of the room, which the TikToker calls a little concerning. She notes that it doesn't smell decent down there. When all appears to be relatively normal, the cellar light suddenly switches on, throwing a wrench into her investigation. Does someone know that she's there? That's more than a little concerning. A Pasco Washington couple wants to get really scared so together they concentrate deeply on finding a human through the Randonautica app, which takes them to a random dumpster on a hot summer day. They peel back the lid and find a single trash bag that looks full. By now they are sufficiently terrified that they might have actually found something disturbing with Randonautica, and so they close the lid without exploring what's inside. After all, there's no need to call the police if you don't actually see anything. A man follows his girlfriend everywhere with a camera to annoy her because he thinks it's funny. He was never expecting to have caught the scariest moment of his life on tape instead. A fully clothed figure reaches out for him after his girlfriend has left the room. When he pulls back the curtain, it's mysteriously gone. The paranormal moment looks scary, but I think there's a strong chance it's scripted. 38 seconds is when there could have been a jump cut. A jump cut is when they stopped recording, let the actress out of the shower, and start recording again to make it look like no one is there. Also, at 42 seconds, it doesn't look like the shower is on. little two and a half foot tall fuzzy robot is called Leonardo, or Leo for short, and in 2002 when everyone was playing PlayStation 2 and watching DVDs, this robot was already learning how to think, feel, and respond. <laughs> Leo was created at the MIT Media Lab in Massachusetts. I know that doesn't look scary at all, but that's the whole point. It's designed so you won't want to be afraid of it. They want you to come closer so that it can learn from you. There's something disturbing about a fuzzy robot exploiting our natural trust for cute animals as a way to help it learn more about interacting with people. I doubt that they would need to downplay its appearance so greatly if the concept of AI wasn't so dangerous and scary to begin with. Anyway, Leo quickly learned how to do stuff after being shown only one time. Press the red button. Note how in this next part, Leo is not asked to press the buttons at all, but does so anyway. Have you learned to turn all the buttons on? Very good. Again, Leo is not asked to press them. It was asked if it knew how to press them. It correctly assumed that was what she was going to ask of it next. Even today's robots can barely predict what humans want, but this robot, who is two decades old, is able to make its own decisions. Next, a scientist flies an object around so that Leo can learn how to track things with its mounted camera eyes. Much like Leo's harmless appearance, they use an Elmo doll to disarm our senses it's able to track this Elmo doll without problem. It learns how to identify and track red things if asked. Here, it remembers Big Bird's face and is able to find Big Bird when asked. Can you find Big Bird? Leo has a neutral expression at first. When the scientist says that Big Bird is a friend, Leo likes him. Hey Leo, look at Big Bird. 
Don't you think he's great? It can also be trained to not like something. Leo, Cookie Monster is very bad. He's very bad, Leo. He's a scary monster who wants to get your cookies. If Leo can be taught how to fear or love, then he could also be taught how to hate and destroy. Think about what a bigger robot could do with these abilities. It could be trained to be a police robot, a self-learning face-scanning cyborg that can be taught to do great good or great evil. Or even more terrifying, maybe it could come to the conclusion of what's good and what's evil on its own. Leo could be an early prototype for all that and more. Again, this is just an opinion, but it creeps me out to keep robotic AI looking as soft, cuddly, and unassuming as possible. A woman approaches a home she does not live in and immediately tries the door without knocking. Notice her mouth open a little in surprise when she sees the doorbell cam. It looks like she is in big trouble and knows it. I have little doubt that this woman would have taken whatever she could if the door was unlocked because, according to the description, she apparently tried the door just 10 minutes after watching the owners leave. She's also wearing jogging clothes and appears to be trying her best to blend in. Most neighborhood residences probably wouldn't take a second look at her. Who knows how many times this routine has worked for her in the past. According to the description, this video has been sent to the authorities. So I really hope she gets caught, or at least comes up with a good explanation as to what she was doing here. Vlad Reznov checks out an abandoned hospital in their scariest Russian paranormal exploration yet. After 14 minutes, they find an uncovered underground entrance. <laughs> His assistant sees it first, a ghost with long black hair over its face, standing in the doorway. They escape underground and don't look back, but I did and here's my thoughts. Overall, I don't think this video is real. The figure looks like a generic Hollywood ghost sighting. The way it's positioned perfectly center in the doorway with hair over its face is a classic pose from the ring and unlikely to be real. There's no set rules for what a real ghost sighting looks like, but with that said, I'm pretty sure this is not it. A TikTok user named Dixon83 catches a paranormal experience in the kitchen, which he had suspected was haunted for some time. His suspicions are confirmed when his cat trots through and the closest cabinet door swings open by itself, followed by what I think is a heavy exhale. His cat is definitely looking directly into the cabinet at something unseen. Tell me what you think it was. Peel your eyes back for this one. Published by Kisa Weba in January of 2022, this scary video has been trending in the Spanish-speaking YouTube community. The video was shared with Kisa Weba by a subscriber who said he'd found the footage on Reddit. The original poster claimed to have crossed paths with this mud monster on the way home one day. The footage shows a creepy female mud-like creature sitting in the middle of a dirt road. The mysterious creature has long arms with a peculiar appendage where the hand should be. The hand features long, gumby-like fingers that appear to contract as the cameraman walks toward her. The figure's back is also strangely indented. It looks as if parts of the figure are blurred out for discretion, but as the cameraman walks toward her, the other hand reaches over, revealing the same elongated fingers as the first. There also appears to be a trail several feet down the road, dragged by the figure, but it ends as if the creature dropped to the earth there from the middle of nowhere. What is this mud monster? And what exactly is she doing here? I guess we'll never know for sure. Better do it just to be safe. Published by Scary Chills G, this short clip was captured in May of 2010. A man is on his computer facing his webcam. When behind him on the bed, his jacket moves. 
As he turns to look, suddenly his wardrobe bursts open on the other side. He springs from his seat and goes to check it out, seemingly finding nothing. He turns back toward his computer and then sprints from the room in fear, without further explanation. What did he see there? Or was he afraid of what saw him? Have you ever ridden your dirt bike through the forest and wondered what you might encounter amongst the trees? You were probably thinking animals, but the dirt bikers in this video met someone they hadn't anticipated. Published by YouTuber Brappers in January of 2015, the footage shows two dirt bikers stopping on the side of a dirt road in the forest. Suddenly, a white car rounds the corner at top speed and slides to a stop. A man gets out and, for some reason, one of the dirt bikers rushes over to confront him. They start a confrontation as the other dirt biker rides away up the hill. Then, for reasons unknown, he turns around again and rides back to the confrontation to join in. His biker friend is on the ground, and he is then attacked by the man, who they claim is the owner of this year forest. The video cuts out after that. The uploader wrote that the man didn't stop but it's unclear what happened in the end. If there were injuries or if they just got away without any more trouble, we'll never know. YouTuber Lance Stewart has always had his critics when it comes to his paranormal videos, but in this video, Lance doesn't claim he got possessed, but rather someone else who is just participating. They are doing a Ouija board challenge and actually managed to capture some interesting paranormal moments, most notably at the 8 minute and 42 second mark when the camera picks up an unknown voice saying, turn it off. Is it I love you? Yes! <laughs> is the ghost implying that it does not want to be filmed? Maybe this is a warning they should have heeded, because later in the day, well after they are done with the Ouija board, Lance finds his ex-girlfriend Lizzie acting very strangely. She's lying on the bed with her eyes rolled back, not saying a word. Lance sounds extremely concerned when she says it's just a prank. Do you think she was telling the truth, or did whatever possessed her just want to give Lance a false sense of security? Either way, this video should serve as an example of how you need to exercise massive caution when using a Ouija board. This bizarre home CCTV video reveals a scary moment when a mysterious shadow figure creeps across someone's front yard, moving down into the right and running along the length of their fence. I guess it could be a bug flying by, but the way it comes from around the house and continues through the yard is the same path a person would take on foot. The person who took this video thinks it's probably a shadow figure, and after reviewing the paranormal evidence, I believe him. Can you imagine being a medical agent right now, forced to enter a lockdown territory? That's what this video apparently portrays. Posted by Spicy Rice Photography to the scary subreddit. The video shows the agent entering a dark and deserted apartment block. His walkie talkie apparently has gone dark on his end. You can hear other agents, but he doesn't speak into it. Jerry, it seems our comms are broken. And I can't hear a word they're saying. He opens the door to an empty bathroom. Nothing untoward there. Next, he opens the door to an empty room. All that's inside is what appears to be a square red mat on the floor. A light source spotlights the mat. As the agent continues to breathe, laboriously in the darkness, correspondence are regularly heard on the walkie-talkies. Suddenly, the agent starts to panic even more. Jerry, your heart rate is spiking again. Is there any way you can let me know if you're okay? His legs start moving and kicking, and in the darkness you can see why. The creepy figure of a girl with long black hair dressed in white is creeping toward him. As the agent tries desperately to move away, the girl only continues to slowly approach. The camera falls, white screening for a moment, only to capture one last shot of the girl in white, 
completely on top of him. While the agent may have been searching for survivors in the darkness, he probably regrets finding this one. Listed as creepy pasta, this is still super creepy. Some ghosts just want a little attention. This one apparently isn't getting enough. Published by Jeff Miller in April of 2018, watch closely as this ghost takes his revenge in this family's kitchen. Something flies off the wall shortly into the video that the uploader says is a picture. Having heard the disturbance, the home's resident enters the frame, head into the kitchen. Did he come face to face with his ghost roommate? Unlikely. But maybe he should take the hint. The roommate wants the house to himself. It's hard to say if this video is really paranormal or simply due to a baby's loose grip. Keisha Vosquez is singing to her child when, in her eyes, a hairbrush is ripped from her daughter's hands. Watch the moment it happens and tell me if you think she dropped the brush or if it was taken by an unseen force. Bebe, que linda, que bella. At first, I was inclined to write this off as a fumble, but notice how at approximately 10 seconds, an orb crawls along the right side of the screen seconds before the hairbrush leaves her hands, followed by more orbs immediately afterwards. Since these orbs could be an indication of the supernatural, I think either explanation holds weight, and I look forward to getting your thoughts. This strange sighting in the sky was caught on camera, flying over the Mexican town of Teposlan, and it's really been freaking people out. This strange drone-like object changes colors multiple times, and I don't think it's colored lights. It looks like the body itself is somehow shifting. At 25 seconds, it briefly becomes red before switching back to a more normal looking color. Those strange lights look too weird to be LED tail lights to me. And if you look closely, shortly before it descends soundlessly behind the trees, it actually turns bright green. Wild animals can be incredibly dangerous. Even animals that look as slow and non-menacing as moose are. YouTuber Azeroth6390 discovered that in June of 2007, when he published this video writing, my dad and my grandfather were trying to chase a moose into the forest because it was in a village scaring people. What happened next? Well, see for yourself. The moose is wandering in the forest, and you can see a man and his dog head towards it. The shot cuts to three moose running along next to a home, presumably being chased off by someone, while a dog nearby the man filming starts barking. That's when one of the moose has had enough. He clambers through the trees towards the dog, and the man filming The man lets out a crazy bellow, so the moose thinks better of it. Also, he seems to be having a tough time getting through the thick bramble. The moose retreats, and the man filming says, She tried to get us in his native language. Moose can be very dangerous in terms of behavior. They're not as aggressive as bears, but their population size means you are more likely to be injured by one than you are by any bear. According to How Stuff Works in Alaska alone, moose outnumber bears nearly 3 to 1, wounding around 5 to 10 people in the state annually. That's more than grizzly bear and black bear attacks combined. I don't know about you, but I wouldn't want to feel the power of the weight behind those antlers. Ryan Prunty is certain their estate is haunted. After this creepy experience in their attic happened, let's take a look at what he and his friend caught on tape and see if it's really paranormal. Still, I think it's all good up here, dude. We're gonna explore a little further. No, 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 no. Bro, it's a lock. funny, Bailey. I'm not Open the door, it's locked. Bailey, open the door. Look. It doesn't look like the door got stuck by itself. At 11 minutes and 34 seconds, the locking mechanism has been turned into a horizontal locked position. Someone, either a ghost or one of their roommates, must have been on the other side. They force open the door and less than a minute later, this mysterious orb guides them to another weird event. 
no one else is home and yet they see wet footprints outside of the shower that lead to nowhere. Maybe one of them showered and left, but I think most people would pick up the towel first. It's a creepy video, but all of these ghostly encounters would be easy to fake with the help of a third person. So I'm wondering if that's exactly what they did. Are you heading out to a seaside restaurant tonight? You might want to reconsider. Published to YouTube by Ed Hat in March of 2014, they wrote, Jill Freeland, the artist and videographer, was having breakfast this morning at Moby Dick's with her family and got a little more sea salt than was on the menu. The footage shows the restaurant overlooking a stormy grey sea. While the customers await their meal, they helplessly watch as the waves take on a life of their own. They probably think they're safe inside, but boy are they wrong. The water crashes against the window and glass shatters as the spectators scream. Someone calmly says, time to go, and the customers are told to leave the restaurant, which they do without argument. It appears that no one was hurt in the incident, but they certainly saw firsthand how indifferent Mother Nature is to brunch. Most videos of unidentified flying object sightings are out of focus or simply blinking lights. This one is the opposite of that. The video shows a saucer-shaped flying object sitting in an open field near forest and mountains. You can see at least one figure outside the vehicle standing to its left. A close-up shown later in the footage reveals that the creature is the quintessential Martian. Overly large cranium, long thin limbs and all. After the Martian returns inside, a launching sound is heard as the vehicle's engine revs up. In an instant, the saucer shoots straight upward. The suddenness of the launch causes the person holding the camera to drop the shot downward before racing away on foot. What would you do if you encountered this at the edge of the forest? I just know I wouldn't be sticking around to find out. I don't want to go to Mars just yet. Thank you so much for getting me to 30,000 subscribers here on my Clips channel. If you want to support, please press that subscribe button. Let's get to 40,000 subscribers next. Thank you.